it's me Laurie. Um, I'm doing another video for you guys. Um, Apologising for the lighting now because it is um, quarter to 11 at night. Um, I wanted to record this video straight away so I've just put my lamp on behind me and a light in front of me to make the lighting a bit better because um, it was a bit dark. Um, I've got my geek glasses on. Um, I love these glasses but I've never been brave enough to wear them but I've been told by loads of people that I should wear them because they actually suit my face so I'm going to give them a go but um, this is going to be a Topshop haul um, I've not done one of these in ages and I don't think I've ever done one on this channel um, so yeah I bought a couple of things in the sale um, they've got a really good sale on at the moment um, I really do recommend if you're into Topshop stuff definitely go now because there's been loads like reduced but I just picked up a few bits and bobs because we went watching Rock of Ages um, the new musical film with Tom Cruise in um, and there was a top shop in town um, that was dead close to it so I thought I'd pop in and have a look um, Rock of Ages is a really good film by the way if anyone wants to go and watch it I really do recommend it it's a good film it's a bit cheesy in parts but it's actually really funny um, and if you like your rock music you'll love it and Russell Brand's so good in it, it's just amazing. So I'm going to get on with the Topshop haul. Um, it's only a small bag, I didn't get too much because I only get paid tomorrow so I have to try and not spend too much money. Um, first thing that I bought was a pair of shoes. Um, I'm not really um, obsessed with Topshop shoes. Um, they're not like my first go-to thing in Topshop. I tend to graduate more towards the either the tops or the dresses. They're just the shoes and never I'm not really a shoe person. I'm more of like a dress person. So I'm always really like skimpy on my shoes. I don't like to pay much, which I should be probably pay more for my shoes. But um, I got a pair of boots and they just look like this. And they're kind of like Chelsea boots, I'm guessing. But they're called Mackay. Um, and they just look like short Chelsea boots. Um, I've wanted some of these for ages um, but they were always really expensive because these should have been £36 originally. If you can see, they should have been £36. These are in a size 8 but they had like sizes through all different sizes. Um, so I got these and they're just really nice soft um, material and they're really um, comfy. They've got the elasticated band here. Um, they're just a typical sort of Chelsea boot. I'm guessing that's what they like. Um, and I can't wait to wear these with my jeans and my dresses. I think it'll look really cool. Um, and these were only £15 in the sale. So I couldn't not pick them up. It was like fate. So I got them. Pardon me. Um, I also picked up that I've been wanting for ages. I couldn't believe this was in the sale. I was so happy when I saw it. Um, it's the... I love the band t-shirts from Topshop but they're always too expensive. So when I saw that this was in the sale I was like oh my god I've got to buy it. And it's just the Death Leopard um, top. I don't know how I'm going to show this. I don't know if you can see that. It just says Death Leopard on the front. And then it just says tour 1981 and it's just like one of those um, retro -y tops um, and it's slightly longer at the back than it is at the front and then on the back it just says high and dry um, this is by the brand let me see what it's called it's by the brand and finally I've never really heard of them in Topshop before. I've heard of Tea and Cake because I've got a couple of t-shirts by them. But I've never heard of this one. And this should have been £22 and it was 10 So I was very happy with that. Just says the 22 And it's really big and roomy. Um, usually I'd have to go for a size 16. More because of my chest than anything else. But um, this one's really roomy. So I've got it. I didn't want it to be too oversized because I do like oversized stuff but not like overly oversized so I bought this in a small size and it's just I like how it's bigger at the back so I can't wait to wear this with my red skinny jeans I think that will look really cool 
um, and the rest was jewellery. So the first thing I bought was um, these earrings and I wanted these for ages as well. So I was dead chuffed when these were in the sale and they just look like this. Now the regal eyes on crosses, on silver crosses. Um, I love evil eye jewellery. It's a really big fad on YouTube and I've just always been really interested in evil eye jewellery. Um, these should have been £6.50 and they were half price so they were £3.25 and I just couldn't say no to these when I saw them. I think they add a really nice like interesting look to your outfit and I just think they're really cool. I love them. Um, what else did I get? I think you'll notice that there's like an eye theme in all the jewellery that I've bought really. Um, it might look a bit freaky but I really love jewellery with eyes on and um, I love this when I first saw it. It's like a little ring and it's got little googly eyes that move um, when you move your finger. I don't know if you can see that. It's just so cute and this was half price. It should have been 7 50 so it was I'm rubbish at maths. I don't know how much that'd be. Is it 325? No. I don't know. I'm rubbish with maths. 375 I think. But it looks like that and it's really cute. And I can fit it on both my little finger and my um, ring finger. So that's just a really nice added extra to an outfit. Um, I also bought another ear cuff. Um, I've got one already with a little skull from Topshop. Um, I think they're a really, really cool accessory. And this one has got the evil eye on it. And it's just a really plain silver cuff with the evil eye earring. Um, I think that is so cool. And that should have been 6 50 and it was half price. So that was a bargain. Um, and I just think it's really cool with the evil eye. And the last thing I bought was. I don't know where I've put it. It's basically a bracelet with a silver cross on. Um, it's just a really basic bracelet. Oh, it's here. <laughs> Sat on it. Um, it's just a really basic bracelet, but it's got the silver sideways cross on. And that's another really big fad on YouTube. I'm not one for following fads, but um, I really do like the sideways crosses. So I thought that was really nice. It's on like a suede bracelet, and that was half price and it should have been £5 so it was £2.50 so yes that is what I bought from Topshop um, I think Topshop sales are always really good because it gives you a chance to buy the things you've wanted for ages if they're in the sale um, and I think the jewellery as well is so good because you get to stock up on all loads of different kinds of jewellery because Topshop jewellery is really expensive um, I think it is anyway and I think it gives people that opportunity to buy it if you couldn't usually afford it. Um, I'm going to add four nail polishes to this haul because I should have included them in my last haul, not the body shop one, the one before that. Because um, I got them while I was on holiday, but I just wanted to show them you dead quick. Um, they were from Poundland, but the, the Revlon ones, um, I love Revlon nail polish. And I got four colours while I was away. So I'll just show you them, they're quick. Um, the first one was this colour, which is like a pink with gold shimmer running through. And this is Temptress, 168 Temptress. And it's just a really nice, sort of pretty pink colour. Really natural, really nice, really pretty. The next one I got was this one. And it's like a really, really glittery, bluey, silver colour sort of bluey grey and it's in princess I really like the shade if you're going out it'll look really nice or if you've got tan skin um, the next one I got was this one and this looks pink but it's actually lilac um, like a really 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 light shade of lilac um, if I put it against there's Barry M's lilac and then if I put it against that it's kind of the same shade 
<laughs> so you don't need both. But um, I really like the consistency of this one. It's really like matte and nice. And that's in Lilac Pastel 185. And then the last shade I bought was this one. And it's coming up pretty much what the colour it is. I've got it on my nails at the moment but it's kind of chipping off. Um, and it's in the shade 799 Plum Night. And this is gorgeous. I love it. Um, I've been after a really nice dark plummy colour for ages. And although it's chipping off now, um, it's lasted a really long time. And I really adore this colour. Um, I think it's a really nice staple and it'll be great for in winter. I know we're nowhere near winter. Well, it feels like winter, but we're nowhere near winter yet. But um, I love that. So yes, that is everything I bought today. Um, I had a really nice day at the cinema. Um, I've had my hair curly today because I think it shows my highlights off a bit more. Um, if I come really close you can see them a bit. But I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. Um, I'm not quite sure how to have it cut yet. I'm going to keep the length because I'm growing it out. But I'm not sure how I'm going to have my fringe done. I don't know if to have it like a full black fringe like last time or feathered or my layers put back in. I'm going to make my mind up tomorrow. So I'll probably do a video showing you my hair. And yes, I hope you've all had a lovely day and I'm glad you all like the quality of the new videos. I'm really chuffed with how they're coming out um, compared to on my iPad. Although it was a lot faster to upload on my iPad, um, the quality was crap. Um, considering iPads are meant to be all brilliant and everything, the crap for recording on. Um, this laptop so much better at recording. Um, I'm using Cyberlink Ucam. And it just seems to be so much better quality. I love seeing, I don't watch my videos back, but I like to watch them to see what the quality's like. And it was a joy to watch the last one. It wasn't embarrassing at all. So yes. Oh, and someone asked in my body shop haul. Someone commented asking me what this um, tattoo said. So I'll try and do a close up. It says beauty lies within the heart with a love heart at the end. Um, if you want me to do a tattoo video, I quite willingly do one. I've got, let me count how many tattoos I've got. I've got one, two, three. I've got five tattoos now. So I can do a video on them if you want, like experiences and questions about tattoos. If that's what you want me to do, just let me know and I will do it. So I'll see you very soon guys. Look after yourselves, bye.